Hey guitar enthusiasts, Nick here with Solo Guitars. Thanks for coming back to our channel today. Today we're gonna go uh, rolling on with more conversions. Today we're going to convert a P90 to a humbucker routing. So the one thing that is very lucky in this case is the actual routing for a dog ear is gonna give you enough space that is gonna sit right on the edges of the two legs for your humbucker bridge. With that said here, we're gonna use our template, our humbucking template, which has both the routing for a direct mount and for a pickguard. So we're gonna use the direct mounted side and we are going to double-sided tape this down and use our Heza carbide tipped flush mounted bit to really dig out that wood and make sure we have a nice consistent route. As you can see from our camera here, we've already got our straight lines on it. This has not been changed from our existing videos. So we're gonna use our existing straight edge line here corresponding with the straight edge on our template here. This is marked out exactly for where you need it to be in order to get a nice and consistent rip. I'm gonna leave this a little bit half and half between the two of the lines. You can see that a P90 is slightly thinner than the actual humbucker route. So we're gonna even it out from side to side, which is still gonna leave us enough screw space for us to actually get a good hold with our pickup ring. There we are, I have it there. We got a double-sided tape down, we got to push down, make sure we have it nice in here. We don't want that moving. As always, we are using a router in this case. Make sure you are well protected. Use as much safety precautions as you can. I'll be using my trusty Milwaukee safety glasses here, as well as my tried and true DeWalt compact router. So this height is already set exactly where I need it to be for the existing route. So we are just essentially going to make this slightly wider to accommodate that extra space. Now, I'm going to pop this back off and we are going to dry fit to make sure that we are happy with our routing. Now you might be wondering, Nick, why did you go with it? Why didn't you stick with the P90? Well, unfortunately, when it comes to this, the P90 with the dog ear does tend to sit a little bit too high for us to give the proper height for these magnets to do their job, as well as to have the proper action. So in this case, we will be stuck with having to make a Floyd Rose with the humbucker, which in all cases is gonna add more beef to the sound of this guitar in particular, and is gonna give you more of that 80s look and that 80s sound that these guitars and this Floyd Rose is really renowned for. So we're gonna be using today our Wilkinson MHWB humbucker it is a bridge humbucker. This comes with a pickup ring for just $19.99. It is a great value pickup, which sounds fantastic. And Wilkinson is a great brand to really trust. Let's see how we did. Take our wiring through there just to keep it out of the way. Take the body off there. Again, that double-sided tape is really doing its job. Pull that all the way through. There we go. So, judging by that, as you can see, outside of the fact that this does have too large of a pickup ring, I will have to change the pickup ring just to a regular flat size, but you can see that it's still outside of the actual dog ear screws on the side, which you can fill with a toothpick, the old uh, toothpick trick, which is a nice and easy and very cheap way of hiding your screw holes, but I'm quite content with that. As you can see, we're perfectly centered, right where we need to be. And we have lots of meat left for those four screws for our pickup mounting ring. So it really is that simple. In this case, it's not always gonna be that easy, but in this case, we lucked out having the, the existing pickup routing being deep enough. We just had to take a little bit more off the edges. It's completely hidden, so you'd never really know unless you knew. Of course, you're gonna know because you just watched us do it. Another thing to add in this case, so because the dog ear screws on from the top of things and your traditional humbucker has the long leg with the screw that it protrudes out, you're gonna to wanna to go through the center and drill down just a slight little bit more to allow that screw to function as it should. Now, some people are different in this case. You can use a router to just give it a nice square edge, but considering it is just for a small pin head screw, I like to use a Forstner bit. Not everybody's gonna agree with me in this case, but this is something that is hidden and it's still something that will be clean in the sense of how it looks. So, Forstner bit having a nice pointed edge to really allow you to get exactly where you want for accuracy while also not going too far. In this case, I've got a half an inch bit. We're just gonna give it a little bit of loving.
All right. Don't have to go too far. In this case, I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch. Even though we have the Floyd Rose mounted underneath, this isn't going to go into the, the routing path in the back. Now we have our pickup ring. We're going to switch it out using our trusty Posco number one Phillips head screw, screwdriver. And we are just going to swap this out and use the existing parts from the pickup. Now for extra grounding today, I'm going to be using a Sobo Pro metal pickup ring. This one is flat, very thin, gives you lots of room to play with to get that height you're looking for while also not being too much in the way. Now looking at this here, got lots of space, it's nice and clean. We have enough room to screw in properly and while also being functional. So let's pop this baby on and go from there. Now you can see the noticeable size difference between the two of them. Not to mention this one existing for a typical tunematic bridge style, which has that angle, which you saw is correct early. So this has its purpose, but it's not for this purpose. That's where this guy is going to come in handy. Now, we've got this all set. We're going to come back in and dry fit. Make sure we're happy with it before we drill the holes for the pickup rings themselves. There we go. So that extra little bit of that hole depth really helped us allow it to sink down where it should. And it's really close to the body. As we see there, we have a nice, efficient conversion. There we are, we got it nice and centered. We're gonna just make a little mark here for our holes. See how much meat we have before making that initial drill. Now it is gonna be quite close to the edge. So, you know, I wanna be extra careful with this. Also, one thing to keep in mind is the actual hole on the side for your wiring. I recommend using the MRSF number eight. They are slightly shorter and they are intended for the neck pickup, but in this case, being a small and flat side, they will dual purpose for this as well. Now, we're gonna use our drill bit. We're not gonna go far in in this case because we do have the wire in. We're just gonna use this for the sake of getting a nice pilot. Would recommend going slightly on the angle outside of the traditional hole. Now this wouldn't often be the case, but because it was an existing P90 route and it gets close to the screws, I recommend going slightly angled just to give yourself more meat and less problems later on. You can see I'm not using much of an angle, but enough that it's subtle enough. It'll still sit flat, but be practical. Now we got our pilots, let's draw them all. All right, now to be safe, I'm gonna drill it home and we're gonna continue on from there. As you can see from this, there is no, outside of the two screws that you have in the center, which again, the old toothpick trick will do it, which will hide it. Although it's not the same color as the mahogany, most often you're gonna be paint grayed on this anyways, and you will hide that completely down the road. So there we are. Now we have a fully converted guitar from a P90 to a humbucker, and it is gonna be an awesome guitar, not only look-wise, but sound-wise. As always, thanks for spending some time with us today in the back shop at Solo Guitars. Stay tuned for more as we go over more of our kits, our templates, tools, and more at Solo Guitars.